Hi everyone, hope you're doing well. Right, so let's take a look at Smash Up on Highway 1 from Brian Setzer's new album, Gotta Have the Rumble. Uh, check out the PDF, you know, for a lot of the fingerings and chords. Um, that way we don't have to just sort of, you know, waste too much time here, just sort of spelling everything out. So check out the PDF, you know, and go along with the video as well, um, which has got the tab in. So we start off with this, you know, it's this kind of like Arabian, Egyptian, Middle Eastern kind of lick riff, you know, kind of thing. <laughs> So 9-10 on the G, then 9-10 on the B. Then 8, sorry, 7-8 on the E. Right, shift up with my first finger for that, 7-8. Then 11 on the E. And then hammer pull off from the 8th, 11 back to, and slide down to the 7th. then 8-7 on the E, 10-9 on the B, and then 10-7 to 9 on the G, and then 7-9 on the G again. So we do that all again, but um, but this time we, we do an extra 7 to 9 on the G. And those 9s have got a little, you know, those, um, the ninth on the G. We do a bit of a brato. So that's, it seems like it's kind of on the bridge pickup there, so then... Um, so then flick up to the rhythm, we're going to do this um, kind of chord sequence, these kind of, um, you know, octave power chords where we use three strings. These ones have got an A string root and then we'll also alternate between a six string root. I sort of in between all that, sort of using a lot of this low E. Most of the time it's two times, but sort of in this middle point, and just at the end we do it once. So we'll go from that E, low E two times, and then the C. So we do the chord two times on the low E, the chord two times on the low E, shift down, so the E, low E two times C, Low E two times, E flat, low E two times, and then the B. So really it's all about the rhythm for this kind of thing, so... Uh, so at that point, so we do two open E's before we go to the D, but then one open E before we go to the B flat. And then one again for the C sharp. And then back to two out two times on the low E to the air. C and low E two times to the uh, air flat. So then we're so on that C two times on the low E to the A flat. And two times on the low E before we go to the B. And then one low E, then to the G. And because we're going to go to this E minor, where we'd normally sort of put this low E or something like that, I just, you kind of hear this little, there's a bit of a sound, it's more like just taking the fingers off and with this bit of an upstroke. <laughs> catching the, sort of like the open A and the open D. So we're going 
to slide into that E minor. Really, we're just trying to catch like the six, fifth and fourth strings. I caught a bit of the third there. It's going to ring through a little bit. But with the, so when we, that G is on a down, we come up with this, or these open strings with an up. This slide comes in with a down stroke. So that slide, we come in with a down stroke and then a down and up. With that up, we could bit a bit of a brat or a bit of a shake there. It's kind of accented because it's that up stroke. Then up, down, up again. And the same kind of thing again, except we just kind of stop at that, this first up. Because then we're going to flick over back to the bridge and do the same pattern again. But this time, just you know, on the bridge, a bit more, sort of more aggressive. A lot of this is sometimes it's kind of muted. Sometimes it's played a little more open. And the closer you play to the bridge, you on whatever pickup, obviously it's going to get a bit sort of sharper and brighter. So um, you know, experiment with that also, and even going from you know sort of a lot more muted, especially on. <laughs> as we do that way. Flick over. I kind of put myself in a chord position and slide into it. And the same again, we sort of play that riff. So at that point we'll hold again, but this time go to the, the middle pickup. So now we go to E minor. And this week, it's a kind of a typical Brian strumming pattern. More or less that kind of thing. So a G. Before the change, there's always those kind of little strummy things. Like I say, it's a very typical strumming pattern, you know, something like... Um... Chains around your heart, or I guess even the bridge with Gina, you know. Here, so E minor to G. And we've got this C69. Then this kind of sort of like 2 5 idea, idea. so we're. Um, got his F minor 6 sharp 5. So B7 flat 9. And rather than the C69, we do a C minor 6 9. Then the same again. The F minor 6 uh, sharp 5. B7 flat 9. Then it's kind of like the, you know, the B section of the verse. So I, you know, I hear like sort of two kind of things. We've got this A minor 7. But I also sometimes hear this. So what sounds to me like this B note, which, um, so we play the A minor 7. Use our little finger on the 4th of the G. So an A minor, add 9. And I kind of, you know, sort of split the bar up and do the, do the both of those. So, um... So again, experiment with that. Maybe you just prefer uh, to go straight to the A minor add nine, or, or, or but it, there's a kind of bit of movement in this. So uh, so I kind of 
do it like that. Then back to this uh, C minor 6 9. And this F13. And we do this B7. We're kind of fretting the, the sixth string as well, so we've got the fifth of the chord. It's got you kind of hear that come through a little. Stabs will do the uh, C6, uh, C6 9 and B7 sharp 5 sharp 9. Uh, flick over now back to our bridge and back into the riff. And a chordal riff. to the second verse with this. So, um... So that's a hammer from the first to the second on the air. Open D. Second fret on the A, and pull off two to the open on the D. Same on the A, two to the open. So our E minor back to the middle. Um, let's see. Uh, Um, even some of these sort of changes are a bit new to me then into the, uh, you know, the kind of B section of the verse again and then uh, C minor 6 9 the F13 B7 with the also with the fifth in the bass B minor G C6 9 B, uh, B7 sharp 9 sharp 5, flick over, back into our riff. So this time we'll do it two times, but we'll do the um, kind of 7-9 tag uh, two times on each, not not three times, not the, not three times on the second time. Oh my god, so many numbers. Gonna hand out a bit of a slide up. And we're going to shift that whole thing up now to kind of like the A version. So, um, 14, 15 on the G, 14, 15 on the B, and 12, 13 on the E, and 16 on the E. Then hammer from the 13, 16, pull off the 13, slide down to 12 on the E. And 13, 12 on the E. 15, 14 on the B, then 15, 12, 14 on the on the G. And 12, 14 again on the G. Back to our E version. Back to the B version. So there were, uh, let's see, uh, 16, 17 on the G, then 16, 17 on the B. And 14, 15 on the E. Then, uh, what's that? We're on the 18th 
on the on the E. Then hammer on from the 15, 18, pull off to the 15, slide to the 14 on the E. 15, 14 on the E. 18, 17 on the B. 18, 14, 16. On the G, then 14, 16 again. Then we go back to our, our riff. This time with the kind of the, you know, we did the little tag three times. Um, so, uh, to our rhythm pickup back into the sort of chordal riff. Back to our middle, go through the chords again, E minor to G. C six nine, and then the F minor six sharp five uh, to the B seven uh, B seven flat nine. E minor again. And it sounds like this time on the G kind of just goes up to the B string. Same with this C minor six nine. Minus six sharp five to the B seven flat nine. Once again, our kind of B section with the A minor seven to the A minor add nine to C minor uh, C minor six nine F thirteen B seven. So with the fifth in the bass on the sixth string. So. Uh, I've just done it like the first verse. Uh, so I've just I've just ignored everything I've just told you to do. So um yeah. Now just E minor G. And the two stabs. C six nine. B seven sharp five sharp nine. Flick over to the to bridge. And now we go through the whole kind of um solo pattern again. We kind of finish that, um, you know, so we, if we were finishing the solo, then we do the with the ending sort of like tag three times. go back like our oh, sort of chordal riff like normal. And now it just sounds we do that whole thing one more time. It just sounds a bit more aggressive, perhaps a bit closer to the bridge. So to pick a bit harder also, and um, I think sort of finishes just with after that G. Uh, just to an E minor. So uh, let's play the last three of those then. So from the uh, well from the riff.
So there's not really that much to it. Some of those cords sometimes, they can be a bit sort of like finger crippling. So be careful with that. Um, but it's it's actually, uh, it's really grown on me, this track. Um, I've always kind of um, played around with this style myself anyway. You know, this, uh, you know, the sort of, you know, that kind of thing. So um, we'll give it a try anyway, it's great, um, even just to kind of practice for that riff, just alternating between these sort of fifth string or sixth string root power chords with this um, low E always kind of in the middle, swapping between, well, most of the times it's two times, but that, those can't, there's one point here, one point there, where we do it one time. <laughs> That's sort of great practice also. Um... So like I say, check out the PDF. It's kind of a self-explanatory, uh, this, this track. Um, but yeah, you, you know, you'll have to sort of work a little bit to sort of get those changes and really sort of... Um, you know, bang it out well. So, uh, right, well, uh, have fun, give it a try, and uh, take care, and I'll see you soon. Cheers. <laughs>